Hey YouTube, Rider Zero here with a review of the Taka and Taco Candroids from Common Rider O's. Um, I got Taco in last week, got Taka in uh, at the beginning of this week. Uh, great, great little toys from the O's show. Um, they're actually relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other gadgets that we saw from Double, uh, making them a little easier to try to pick them all up, um, which is definitely a good selling point because cheap but fun toys is always good um so we'll go ahead and take a look at the packaging on these it's pretty basic packaging so i'm just going to worry about showing you the first one which is taka um the the hawk candroid um i have no idea what this says down here because i cannot read that but we have a shot of o's there and then the uh taka candroid itself there uh showing that you pop the lid there and then some action shots there on the back O's riding the Kendroid. Uh, the belt does come with a uh, cell metal for Taka that you can use for the O's driver. Also on the Gomber Ride machine there. Um, so pretty basic stuff. It does show like the action that this particular one does, uh, which I'll show you guys in just a second. So uh, nothing really spectacular about the boxes. So I'm really not going to worry about showing both of them. Um, they're pretty much the same, just with different pictures. Um, so we'll take a look real quick at the metals that come with this particular one. Uh, you do get a Taka cell metal. Like I said, it can be used with the O's driver. Um, pretty plain one. Compared to the core metals, uh, it does feel obviously a little, not necessarily cheaper, but it doesn't feel as solid as the core metals because it's all plastic, as opposed to the core metals having the die cast uh, outer rim here, outer layer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then you also get this one, which is the Taco that comes with the Taco Candroid. Um, so they're pretty cool. They do work in the O's driver, like I said, and they actually are uh, unlock a lot of extra sounds for the few metals that we have right now. Um, if you watch my review for the O's driver, you can see what I mean. Um, I kind of show that with some of the core metals that you can kind of trick the uh, scanner on the O's driver into thinking it's something else. So watch the review for that, and you'll see what I mean. Um, so we're going to start with the... Taka Candroid first. So I'm going to set this one aside. Um, nice red finish there on the outside. A nice metallic red. Uh, it does have the bird picture there. It says Taka. Um, and then has Japanese text that I can't read. Sorry. And then the outside of it for the rest of it is just a plain silver color. Um, there's a tab on top that you pop to open this up. Um, it does actually serve as a lock to keep it locked. You can pull pride apart with some force, but why would you want to do that? Um, so what you do to transform it into the bird, you just take the top there, pop that all the way over. See here, you flip it upside down. That part opens up. And then that part opens up to form the wings. And then this part for the head lays down. And then you kick the candroid box over. And then this part folds down to make the tail. And then for the action on this particular one, there's a button on each wing right here. Hit that. The rest of the wing flips out on both sides. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the inside of it looks really nice. It has that same metallic red color as the outside of the can before you transform it. Um, the underside looks a little plain. Uh, not that it's that big of a deal, you know. It, it still looks nice. Uh, still has at least the red right there from the front of the can. Um, inside detailing is really, really nice. It's got great molding on the wings there. Like I said, that metallic red paint looks really nice with Taka. Um, detailing all the way going back to the tail. Uh, overall, really nice. Um, I liked this one. I don't like it as much as Taco. However, for, like I said, with the price point on these guys, it's really hard to not pick them all up because they all do something interesting. And, you know, they all either look really good or they're really cool. So, um, definitely recommend this one. It's really good. And, yeah pick that one up too so i'm gonna kind of set that one to the side and take a look at taka or taco sorry i get these two mixed up so bad um a nice little lavender color on the front of it here uh, showing the octopus does say taco um and then that's about it for the outside just plain plain silver plastic there um same deal with this one pop the top on this one fold it all the way back and then this one kind of just almost does it itself uh, you just let that drop, and then let all the rest of it drop, and then you have an octopus, kind of a mean looking octopus, 
Um, so I'm going to try to scoot these back a little bit to show you the action on this one. This one does a spinning action. So you take it and you wind it around and then let it go. So good stuff there. And just for just for show, we're going to do it one more time because it's that much fun if I can keep hold of it here. Yeah, that was a horrible sound effect, sorry. So yeah, um, definitely so far my favorite of the bunch. Um, there is another one coming out, the uh, Batek Android, the Hopper Android. Um, that one looks really cool. Uh, I'll do a review of that one when that comes out. But um, as far as these go, actually let me talk about this one a little bit more before I go on. Uh, really nice detailing on the inside. Um, I guess you could almost call those like suckers for the tentacles. Um, this one has kind of the same deal. The paint apps on the inside are a little better than the outside. Uh, more color on the inside. The head looks really good on this one. I like the mold on it. Um, and actually before we go on any further, let me show you the uh, transformation to put it back. So we'll start with Taco. And squeeze it all together and you're done. So there's that one. And then for Taco, I almost have it already actually. Just snap the wings back in. Fold the head up. Fold those to about right there. Close up the tail. Fold it in. Fold the wings in. Snap them. And put the tab back over to lock it into place. So there you go. Two really cool toys from O's. Um, like I said, you can get them... Uh, from Amiyami for around, I think they were like 1,400 yen, something a piece like that. Uh, so, you know, for that kind of price, I definitely recommend them just because they're a lot of fun, especially Taco. Uh, Taco looks really good. Taco's really fun. So, grab them both. Um, I'm going to keep getting these as they release them. Um, I already have the Hopper one on pre-order. Um, I think he poops medals from what the pictures show. So, I'm really looking forward to playing with that one. Um... But yeah, definitely great toys, definitely recommended, so pick these up if you can find them. They're selling out pretty well, too. Uh, apparently, all the O stuff is going pretty nuts over in Japan, and a lot of it's selling out. Uh, so, if you can grab these, definitely do so. They're definitely worth it. Um, so, until next time, that's about it. If you have any questions or anything, always please let me know. Um, anything I missed in the review that you have questions on, obviously send those along. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, subscribe, comment, rate, let me know what you guys think. And until next time, take care.